Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Filming in my backyard. It's a beautiful day outside and I wanted the natural light um, because of the content of this video. Um, I wanted to start off by saying like I'm not paid. I wasn't paid to do this at all. Um, I am a glasses wearer, as you know, and I um, hate going to go pick out my glasses and getting them places. So I hate going to go to like lens crafters and like places like that to get glasses because they are always so expensive and like some of them are just designer frames and like I have a pair of Ray-Bans that I loved that I had for years and now I got these maybe about a year ago. And I mean these are from Costco. I like these. I think the look is good but I just like, as you can see I cut my hair. It's like, just wanted like a new look or whatever. And I've been so curious about all of these like online glasses, like the cheap frames and then whatever. I visited like um, zenny.com, I visited like ibuydirect.com, but all of the reviews that I've read and everything, all the articles I've read, um, basically told me that like Warby Parker was like the best one. And I'm just so nervous to try new glasses. I feel like glasses never look good on me and I thought that their idea of sending you five pairs that you pick out off of their website to try for free at home before you buy was an excellent idea and I really wanted to try that. So that's basically why I wanted to do this video was like to help out other glasses wearers because I don't want to always spend $500 on a pair of glasses or $300 on a pair of glasses and Warby Parker said that they have um, glasses, their frames are $95 including the prescription. Of course if you want like progressive lenses or um, the lenses that like uh, darken in the sunlight, um, those are obviously going to cost you more but um, I made like a little fake cart in there and yeah it's true. Um, I went to zenny.com and made a fake cart with my prescription and everything and the glasses frames were like six dollars and ninety five cents or something silly like that or like twelve bucks or something and then with they make you pay for like the coating on the lens the UV coating which is like kind of what you need when you have glasses like um there's also all of the extras that you can get too but they make you pay for it basically like the lenses too so I shopped around to Warby Parker and they have like um the UV lens uh, stuff they have like all of those different, the different metrics that like go into making glasses, um, I didn't even know existed. So that all of that is included in like the $95 fee. And then I looked on their website and in my fake cart you can get like a little glasses case for $15. So if you get a pair of glasses with prescriptions with like a little case to put them in to protect them, like obviously you should protect your glasses because you need them. Um, it was like $110. Like, and I don't, I don't know if they charge for shipping. I didn't I didn't want to like place my order because I didn't know what I wanted yet, but I did want to like make a fake cart because I know I went all the way through like Zenny and I had a whole bunch of stuff in my cart because I wanted like just a few frames and I was like, well, if they're cheap, you know, different looks um, for like if I go out or, you know, if I'm going to a fancy dinner or something, like maybe I want to sport a different look. And then the cart was easily over $300 and I'm like, well, I could go and get a good pair, like name brand pair for that. So it's not worth, um, it wasn't worth it for me. So I tried, this is my try on for Warby Parker. And again, like they didn't pay me or anything. I just wanted to put it in perspective for like other glasses wearers. And I'm like so nervous for buying online and stuff. So I thought that this was like kind of foolproof. So yeah, let's, without further ado, let's get down to this. So it comes in this little box and it's pretty cool. I'll open it up. There's um, a return label as well. I'll cover up my address because I don't need any fan mail or hate mail or anything but they do send you a <laughs> they do send you um, like a return address so it's free shipping back as well and free shipping to you so a free try on is actually a free try on um, and it comes with like a little bit little stuff like this so in that $95 I know that they give you the 100 protect per, um, 100 percent UV protection, I'm just reading this. They give you the scratch resistant treatment, um, anti reflective, and super hydrophobic um, coatings, which is good for sponges. And then they give you the impact resistant poly, poly, polycarbonate well, lenses. So 
I know with Zenny, none of that stuff was included, so if you wanted UV blockers, you had to pay, like, another $30 for it. If you wanted scratch-resistant treatment, you had to pay, like, another $30 for it. Um, and, like, anti- like uh, anti-reflective and the, the different coatings were also um, very expensive add-ons for Zenny. So, you could get, like, the Warby Parker frames for $95, or you can get, like, the $6.95 just frames for, you know from Zenny, and then with all of this other stuff, it would be well over $100, so for me, right now, it looks like Warby Parker is, like, kind of the better buy, and it comes with, like, this little thing in there to tell you whatever, and so I open it up, and it's really cute. They're lined up so nicely, like, actually, like, the trays at the eye doctor's office, which is pretty cool, so I have my normal glasses on, so I'm going to take those off right now, so you can see, um, my glasses when I try them on and also like I, I'm reaching out to you guys to like help me make a decision because I really want to get a new pair of glasses just for a different look and I think a hundred dollars is a fair price for like a different look um, so this is the first pair this is um, and they have the names on them too and the color so if you're like oh geez I don't know what they are and you like them you can go online and order them uh, with that description on there. They have also like the SKU number I think on there too so they're fine. So this is um, the frame is called Laurel and this is color Oak Barrel. I already tried these on. I am not a fan of these because um, they're just a little bit tight on my head. And the other ones aren't like this. I'm sure like if I got them they would like stretch out like glasses like tend to to do but I don't know I wanted a different look and I feel like these are very similar to the ones that I just took off my actual glasses. Um, oh geez, I hope the lighting's okay, but like this is, these are the glasses, guys. I'm sorry, this is like kind of creepy, but um, yeah. So those are the, the, I'm definitely not getting those. Um, I'll go in the order that I like them. So these are um, Bell Frame, and this is the color Hazelnut Crystal. Online, they looked a little bit different, which is why the try on at home is really important um these are kind of like a, I can't really see the color but they're like uh they're crystal so they're kind of clear but they're like a brown and I don't like these because these have too much underneath like of my eye I feel like my eyes like not in the in the center like I'm looking at my reflection sorry I'm just like looking at my reflection in my camera right now and all you see is this part of my face and I feel like they're just really oversized, so I'm not going to get these. Plus, the color online looked not so brown. I know Hazelnut Crystal is the name, but I didn't expect it to be, like, so crazy brown. So, and then I had a pair of clear ones. I like the clear frame look, um, and I really want clear ones. Maybe in a different shape, but I feel like these do not look great on my face. Like, I wanted to go for, like, a totally different look. Jeez. The sun. It's just, of course, the sun is not great. So I really wanted to try like these crystal frames, um, but I don't feel like they really do anything for my face. Yeah. So I'm not gonna get these, um, like from far away and everything. I don't know. There's a frame that I definitely like better than this. I'm just like kind of impartial to this. I, I admire people that can pull off that look, but I don't know, it's just like not for me, and I just like don't like it, so whatever. Here's like a good up close look at them. I don't know, I really want to try hard to like pull these off, and I just feel like these don't look good on my face, like, looks like I'm wearing like safety glasses or like lab goggles, and like, I don't know, I've spent so much time in a lab that I'm like, okay, these look okay, but they look like lab goggles, and I just now realize <laughs> that they look like lab goggles, so no thanks. So that's the third pair. So the next pair is, oh, I'm sorry, this is Chamberlain, 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 and it's crystal, is the color, obviously, because they're clear. Um, now these are Chamberlain, and they're just um, two-tone, I think it's Mission Clay Fade. So, and all of these are like, um, demo lenses, so these are not like the actual anti-reflective, 
lenses. These are just like the demo lenses. So like your real glasses aren't gonna be like as reflective and stuff. Like you can see like the tree and everything and the reflection. So yeah. So this is the Chamberlain glasses. I actually really like these, but I do have Ray-Bans that look very similar to these. I like the fade. Um, when I first got my glasses from, my Ray-Ban glasses, my OG glasses, the lady was like, you better not get any two-tone glasses because like when you take a picture and from far away it looks like really weird because the top part is like black but the bottom part like fades into your skin tone and it's like really weird. I should have just not listened to her because honestly I was the one purchasing them and she probably really wanted me to pay the money for the Ray-Bans honestly and in hindsight I did not have a great experience so I've never been back there. But... I do like these, and like, who cares if from far away it looks weird? Like, everybody knows I have glasses anyway, so they're not gonna like take a picture and be like, oh my god, what's that weird thing on Sarah's face? Like, nope, those are my glasses, and they should be on my face, and I should have gotten those glasses, because I feel like I would have been wearing them more. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wearing them more in the first place. So I like these a lot. Um, this is, I have my top two. This is like second place runner. I don't know, maybe tied for first. I really like these. I think the shape is really good. I think the fade is really good. And like, as I get closer, sorry, I'm like always looking. I have the screen of my camera here. So I'm looking to see like if I'm getting a good angle and the sun is not being crazy. But this is, I think like a good shape for my face. It's a good color for my face. And I mean, the first lens was a little tight. The first glasses that I tried was a little tight, but these are definitely fit for my face. And important about glasses is that like your eyes are in the center of the frame which I feel is fairly fine your eyebrows aren't like behind the frame so these fra frames definitely fit my face and I feel like I feel like I could wear these all day and not feel like oh my god my glasses are on my face and I need can't wait to go home and take them off and just like watch my big screen TV because that's all I can see without my glasses so I don't know I really really like these but I'm counting on you guys to like weigh in on this because I'm literally having the worst the worst and hardest time making a decision and yeah so I'll try on the next ones by the way Warby Parker gives you five days to re return these frames so I'm on my second day and that's like why I wanted to do this today so I can pop them in the mailbox and I have you know a video recording of like what I actually have tried on and stuff so I can see and go back and see and stuff so this is um, Eugene um, I believe on the website it was called Eugene Narrow because it says Eugene Small. So there's a different Eugene type frame that's bigger. But these are the small ones. And um, the color is Rose Crystal. And these are the glasses. So this is like, I like these because they're like part of the clear um, family. But I don't know if you can actually see the color. Can you see the color? It's like rose colored crystal. So I feel like these might be what I'm going with. I don't know. I'm having such a hard decision, but I wanted something funky. And again, I still have these glasses and they're still my current prescription. Um, these glasses meaning my regular glasses still. Um, I still have those and I just wanted something a little bit different that maybe it was a different look. And um, I just wanted cheaper frames just because I don't want to wear my very expensive frames to work all the time because I work outside all the time and yeah, I don't want to spend that much money, if, especially if I need to replace something. So these frames I really enjoy. Maybe this is a good angle for the color, like right in the sun. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I feel like my face doesn't really get lost in them. I think these are funky enough for my look. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't like do anything too crazy, like crazy green glasses or anything. I feel like these are pretty much more neutral. Um, these and like the last ones I tried on, I feel like they're super um, easy to match with. I always wanted like colored like turquoise glasses or like ones with like blue accents or something and I feel like you're really limited to your style choices. Like not that I'm one of those people that like really cares about matching things because like obviously if you know me in real life like it looks like fashion just like threw up on me after a bad night. But I really enjoy these glasses and I feel like they really don't take a lot away from my face which I think is super important and that's pretty much why I don't wear my glasses a lot because I feel like it just drastically changed my look and I didn't need glasses until 
until I went to college, so I was used to seeing myself grow up without glasses, and it's just like super self-conscious of me. I know like everybody has glasses and stuff, and the also I just wanted to mention that Warby Parker has a year guarantee on their lenses, so if you get a scratch on your lens, um, 12 months after you get it, then they'll replace it for free. And they need to be putting this on their website more because I feel like I didn't read this on their website. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting on the very paper that I should probably send back with them. But on the back part of this, it's kind of like Tom's brand glasses, but Tom's brand glasses are super expensive. And I like the moral compass behind it of like giving more glasses to people in need and stuff, but I just can't get over the price. Like sometimes I, will, I genuinely would love to help more people and donate more money to people and buy from like different operations that do good things and like Tom's, I love Tom's shoes and stuff and I love what they're doing but sometimes I just can't afford it and it's really upsetting and so I have to settle for cheap stuff and when I'm rich and famous off of my YouTube I will definitely like be spending more money at charity charity organizations or organizations that get back because I think it's like super important. But anyways, Warby Parker does the same thing that Tom's basically does. I think it's just really important to support companies that will do a little bit extra and this is super affordable. Um, I'm curious to see what their sunglasses are because I really, really, really like some prescription sunglasses. Like right now it's killing me because my sunglasses aren't on, on my face and I've been squinting this entire video and I'm like so sorry. But I really wanted to get your input and I really need help buying some lenses now because these are the best ones that I found off the website and I tried them on and yep so please comment on what you like or if you've had a good experience with Warby Parker I would definitely like want to hear about it or even a bad experience who cares um this is a public forum for everybody to put in input to and I would love some feedback either way so please like this video please comment um your vote for what I buy <laughs> and I would just really like um, for you guys to subscribe because I'm going to be doing more reviews of things. I have a hiking review in the making um, of Kent Falls which is pretty cool. I went there today with Amy and it was pretty cool. So look forward to that. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of a whole bunch of my stuff so that's going to be exciting but in the meantime I'm going to get more stuff for my face. So, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. And, oh, Cricky, huh? Cricky. <laughs> Dogs are always making an appearance in... There's a book on my camera. Cool. Okay, anyways. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. Okay, so I just moved because the sun was, like, being really crazy. And you couldn't, like, see my face anymore because I'm wicked pale and it just looked, like, crazy. So this is, um, the third pair of frames. <laughs> These are, my dog is 